Hello boys and girls and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 4, Book 4A. I am Sakina Kenkuni. I will present Episode 1 from Unit 3, Animal Kingdom. We will focus on vocabulary and reading comprehension. Let's start with vocabulary. Listen carefully. Dance. 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 Repeat after me. Dance. Dance. One more time. Dance. Great job, boys and girls. If it is present, I will say dance. And in the past, it is danced. 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 Can you say it with me? Danced. 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 Great job, boys and girls. Dance is a verb. Now let's use the word dance or danced in a sentence. The kids danced in the birthday party yesterday. The kids danced in the birthday party yesterday. Well done, boys and girls. Can you use the word dance or danced in a sentence? I'm sure you can. All right, let's move on to our next vocabulary for today. We have the word way, way, way. Can you repeat after me, please? Way, way. Great job, boys and girls. Way is a noun. What is the shortest way to the hospital? What is the shortest way to the hospital? Can you use the word way in a sentence? I don't know the way to my home. Can you help me? I'm sure you can use the word way in a sentence. Well done, boys and girls. Next, we have the word wing. 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 Repeat after me, please. Wing. Wing. Wing is a noun. Let's use the word wing in a sentence. Birds have two wings. Birds have two wings. Can you think about how many wings does a bee have? How many wings does bee have? I'm sure you can. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have the word hive. 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 Repeat after me. Hive. 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 Well done, boys and girls. Hive is a noun. Bees live in the hive. Bees live in the hive. So hive is a noun. Can you think of an example like this? I'm sure you can. Let's move on to the next word. We have the word fill. Fill, fill, fill is in present. If I want to say it in the past, I will say filled, filled, filled. Let's say it together. Fill, fill, fill. Great job. What about the past tense of the verb fill? Filled, filled, filled. Well done, boys and girls. Fill. Or filled is a verb. Let's use it in a sentence. I filled the glass with some water. I filled the glass with water. Great job, boys and girls. Next, we have the word honeycomb. 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 Repeat after me. Honeycomb. Honeycomb. One more time. Honeycomb. Great job, boys and girls. Honeycomb is a noun. Let's use it in a sentence. Bees fill honeycombs with honey. Bees fill honeycombs with honey. What about this picture? A beekeeper. 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 Repeat after me, please. Beekeeper. Great job, boys and girls. Beekeeper is a noun. And it means a person who takes care of bees and collects honey from honeycombs. Let's use the word beekeeper in a sentence. The beekeeper is collecting honeycombs. 
The beekeeper is collecting honeycombs. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have the word sting. Sting. Look at the picture and repeat after me. Sting. Sting. One more time, please. Sting. Excellent job, boys and girls. Sting is a verb. Let's use the word sting in a sentence. Some bees die after they sting. Some bees die after they sting. Our next word for today is insect. 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 Let's say it together. Insect. 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 Great job, boys and girls. Insect is a noun. Look at the picture. There are many different insects. I can see different insects. Insects have different shapes and colors. Insects have different sizes and shapes. Insects have different sizes and shapes. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have the word ladybird. 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 Repeat after me, please. Ladybird. Ladybird. One more time. Ladybird. Great job. Ladybird is a noun. Now, let's use it in a sentence. Ladybirds are small insects. They have two wings. Again, ladybirds are small insects. They have two wings. Butterfly. Butterfly. Repeat after me, please. Butterfly. Butterfly. One more time. Butterfly. Great job, boys and girls. Butterfly is a noun. Look at the pictures. I can see many colorful butterflies. Let's use it in a sentence. Butterflies are beautiful insects. Butterflies are beautiful insects. Can you use the word butterfly in a sentence? Well done, boys and girls. Great job. Let's move on to our next vocabulary. We have the word soldiers. 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 Again. Repeat after me, please. Soldiers. A single soldier will say one soldier. And if we have more than one, we'll say soldiers. Soldiers is a noun. And it means a person who serves in the army. A person who serves in the army. Or a person who works in the army. Let's use the word soldier in a sentence. My brother is a soldier. My brother is a soldier. Do you have any soldiers in your family? Now let's move on to the next word. We have the word nectar. 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 Repeat after me please. Nectar. Nectar. One more time. Nectar. Great job boys and girls. Nectar is a noun. Let's use it in a sentence. Butterflies feed on nectar. Butterflies feed on nectar. Pollen. 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 Repeat after me, please. Pollen. Pollen. One last time. Pollen. Great job, dear students. Now, pollen is a noun. Let's use the word pollen in a sentence. Bees collect pollen from flowers to their hive. Again, bees collect pollen from flowers to their hive. That's all with the vocabulary, boys and girls. Now let's practice together. I want you to read the sentences and choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Let's read together. Number one. A bee makes honey in the space. A bee makes honey in the space. Let's read the answers. A. Insect. B. Pollen. C. Hive. Or D. Nectar. Again. A. Insect. B. Pollen. C. Hive. Or D. Nectar. What do you think? 
Which one is the answer? A bee makes honey in the A insect. A bee makes honey in the B pollen. A bee makes honey in the C hive. Or is it D, a bee makes honey in the nectar? What do you think? That's right. The answer is C, hive. A bee makes honey in the hive. Let's move on to number two. Don't walk close to the hive. The bees will space you. Again, don't walk close to the hive. The bees will space you. A, dance. B, sting. C, fill. Or D, eat. Again, boys and girls, is it A, dance. B, sting. C, fill. Or D, eat. What do you think? Which one is the correct answer? Don't walk close to the hive. The bees will dance you. Or the bees will sting you. Or the bees will fill you. Or is it D, the bees will eat you. That's right. The answer is B, sting. Don't walk close to the hive. The bees will sting you. Let's read number three. Space fight to protect their country. Space fight to protect their country. Is it A, soldiers, B, doctors, C, teachers, or D, farmers? Is it A, soldiers, B, doctors, C, teachers, or D, farmers? That's right. The answer is A, soldiers. Soldiers fight to protect their country. All right, boys and girls, that's all with the vocabulary. Let's move on to the reading comprehension. Before reading, I want to give you some tips. Tips for reading. Number one, read the text more than once. Number two, read the questions. Number three, read the first sentence of each paragraph. And number four, Write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. All right, boys and girls, let's start reading the text together. Listen carefully and follow with me. Like all other insects, ants have six legs. They are very strong. They have two stomachs. They do not have ears. They feel with their feet. They live in groups and have different jobs. Queens, soldiers, and workers are some of the jobs. Most ants are red or black, but you can find them in other colors as well. Ladybirds come in many colors. Some are red, orange, and yellow with black dots on them. They have two wings, like butterflies. They are found everywhere except in cold places. They sleep in winter. They play dead to protect themselves. Ladybirds live from two to three years. All right, boys and girls. Now let's answer the questions. A, choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Number one, the best title for the text is A, amazing. Insects, B, ants and their jobs, C, life of ladybirds, or is it D, different colors of ants? Again, boys and girls, I want you to choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Number one, the best title for the text is Amazing Insects, B, ants and their jobs, C, the life of ladybirds, or D, different colors. What do you think? That's right. The answer is A, amazing insects. The best title for the text is A, amazing insects. Number two. The underlined word they in line number two refers to A, ears, B, stomachs, C, legs, or D, ants. The underlined word they in line number two refers to A, ears, B, stomachs, C, legs, or D, ants. What do you think, boys and girls? 
Go back to the paragraph and find the answer. That's right. The answer is D, ants. Great job, boys and girls. What about number three? The opposite of the underlined word cold in line number three is? The opposite of the underlined word cold in line number three is? A, slow, B, hot, C, fast, or D, long. What do you think, boys and girls? Go back to the paragraph, read, and find the answer. Let's read together. Ladybirds come in many colors. Some are red, orange, and yellow with black dots on them. They have two wings like butterflies. They are found everywhere except in cold places. So what's the opposite of the underlined word cold in line number three? That's right. It's hot. The answer is B, hot. Now I want you to answer the following questions. Number one, how do ants live? Let's go back to the paragraph to find the answer. Like all other insects, ants have six legs. They are very strong. They have two stomachs. They do not have ears. They feel with their feet. They live in groups and have different jobs. So the answer is, that's right. They live in groups and have different jobs. Great job, boys and girls. Number two, where do ladybirds live? Let's go back to the paragraph and find the answer. Like butterflies, they are found everywhere except in cold places. So, what do you think is the answer? That's right. They live everywhere except in cold places. All right, number three. When do ladybirds sleep? When do ladybirds sleep? Let's go back and find the answer. They sleep in winter. They play dead to protect themselves. So, the answer is... They sleep in winter. That's right. All right, boys and girls, we're done with the reading comprehension. You have a homework on your pupil's book, page 43 and 44. Read the story, then mark true or false. I will do the first one with you. Bees make honey. It's true. Do the rest after reading the story on pupil's book, page 43 and 44. That's all with this episode, boys and girls. In this episode, we learned how to use new vocabulary in meaningful sentences and how to answer reading comprehension questions. Thank you so much for watching, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this episode with me. I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.